Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Borderlands 3 video. The new DLC is here, Moxie Heist and the Handsome Jackpot. And today we're going to be showing you a very unique, legendary guide to get you one of the better weapons in the game called the Burning Scoville. Which is a reference to a Canadian TV show that started actually from YouTube called Letter Kenny. Now in this episode of Letter Kenny, they are basically going back and forth with their friends about how women sound when they are in pornography, when they're climaxing, saying yes, 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 yes. And Kenny tells his friend, he got a little, put a little pepper on the end of it. They say like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's really funny. So check it out if you haven't seen a letter Kenny. Now for the weapon itself, it comes with 3,038 for this version of the weapon, 73% on the accuracy, 45% handling, 1.7 on the reload speed, and 10.16 on the fire rate, and 8 in the magazine. Also comes with 33% weapon damage, 21% weapon fire rate, and 751 on the splash damage. This version consumes 4 ammo per shot, 1.5 times the weapon zone, and is very highly effective against flesh. Now, throughout my farm of this only seen it drop in one version and that is the fire version element of the weapon. The name Scoville itself actually implies to the Scoville burning level that is used to let you know how hot an actual chili pepper is. You can see from this chart right here the different Scoville levels. Now this weapon you're actually going to get from mail after you completed the little challenges. The challenges is destroying five of these hot sauce bottles that Mr. Torque wants you to destroy. Now he will have this nice little dialogue whenever you run across one of these in the map. So go ahead and destroy all five of them and you will get that weapon. So in this video I'm going to be showing you all of the different locations where you can get it. The first location that we're going to be heading is to the compactor in the trash lands. Here we will have our first little hot sauce that we're going to blow up. There is some different and badass loaders over here, so make sure you are prepared to take those out. After you've taken those out, the first location is going to be right there in that little container crate that has an opening. Just toss a grenade inside, you can easily destroy it and get the first one knocked out out the way. The next two locations are going to be located in the Spindopticon. So we're going to head over here in the new Handsome Jack DLC in the Spindopticon. The second location we're going to head to Casa de Timothy. So once we respond into the Casa de Timothy, head on outside and let's head to the second location. This one is actually very easy. It's going to be sitting on top of a light when you head into the area. So you won't have any problem finding this one or destroying it. Go ahead and take it out and we're down two out of the five to get ourselves this lovely Scoville weapon. The third one is going to be located in the Spindopticon Market District. So we're going to head over here and as you can see this one is floating in the air. There is a very unique way to get to this and I'm going to show you exactly how you can get to it. Head over here and you will see there is a little rock crevice with some skags on top of it. What we're going to do is basically parkour our way all the way up to the top and in between two of the ledges will be our next hot sauce bottle that we're going to destroy. So just jump up, mantle, turn around and there you have it. We have our next hot sauce bottle to destroy and that's number three. We only have two more to go to get ourselves this lovely weapon. The next one is going to be located in Jack's Secret. Number four is actually very easy to get, so just load into Jack's Secret and follow the same way that I am going right now. So just head on straight, and this one you might pass up, but like I said, it's very easy to get. Just hang a right right here, jump over the hole that you fall down, and basically mantle up, and right here will be our fourth hot sauce that we need in order to get our weapon. So, we only have one more left. The last and final one, the fifth one, is going to be located in the VIP tower entrance. So let's head over here. Now this is probably a good time to let you know if you want to farm this weapon, there is a way you can do it. But you're going to need to back up your save. So on PC you can easily do it. On PS4 and Xbox you're going to need a USB stick, a USB drive. Plug that in, back up your save on there before you complete this last step. 
because there's many different versions of this weapon that you can get and if you really want to farm for the better version of it this is the only way that you can do it so back up your set hold over to this VIP door pay the entrance and here will be our final bottle that we need to destroy in order to get our burning Scoville weapon so go ahead and take that out the crew challenges is complete let's check our mail and here it is the burning Scoville not bad not bad at all once again back up your save and you can do something a little bit like this what you I'm doing right now is heading over to my friend to the split screen and I'm going to basically just drop him off the weapon that I just have right I already backed up my save okay back up your save give your split screen friend that weapon and then basically reload up your save once you have your save reloaded up you will then need to basically complete the last step of the mission again to get yourself another burning scoville pistol as you can see right here i have my burning scoville on i already backed up my save i reloaded my save and now i'm going back over here once again to the vip door take this out and boom once again check the mail and we have ourselves another burning scovo now this is a better version of it as you can see i have 2431 times two on the damage pretty freaking cool so once you have your version that you are happy with the burning scovo how well does this weapon perform in the end game so what we're going to do is take this into the proving ground of the instincts mayhem 04 and see how well this weapon performs as you can see right here we're going to be shooting off two little nuclear projectiles which is pretty freaking cool and it actually does some pretty decent damage on mayhem 04 against these fleshly targets the damage is pretty decent i cannot complain at all it's a very good pistol especially when you pop to the fadeaway now i'm using the new artifact mod that increases your critical hit damage and with this you can get some very interesting results as you can see right here as i pop to my fadeaway yeah they just melt away and i'm getting well over 100,000 damage yeah well over 100,000 damage pretty freaking cool for a pistol if I don't say so myself hey it's not no ion cannon but for a pistol it feels like it is now these are the different versions that I have gotten so far and I am not yet done with the farming as you can see between the different versions of the burning scoville the one on the left has less damage more accuracy but also have plus more weapon damage and the splash damage is a little bit more the one on the right has 2,431 times 2 times damage, better handling, better reload speed, and a little bit better fire rate. So there is different versions of this weapon that you need to get out there. That's why I highly suggest you save so you can farm for the better version. The only other version that I've seen is the Vigorous Scoville. Now all of these are pretty cool but the best version obviously is going to be an anointed version of this with the two times the weapon damage with the plus weapon damage so forth and so on but how does this perform in the end game against targets with shields well we go into the proving ground of the cunning as you can see it melt the target on the left with the little bit of shields but if they have very high shields you might want to switch to another weapon to take him out. Even though this weapon is really good and it fires off nuclear projectiles that does very good damage against shielded targets on Mayhem 04, you're going to find yourself a little bit hard to take down those targets if you're just using this weapon. But for the video purposes, I am going to be just using this weapon so you can see that not matching the correct elemental damage can be a little bit of a nuisance and you definitely are going to need to switch to another weapon if you're going to be using this as your main pistol. Now the weapon still does good damage but you can also blow yourself up as you can see right here. But don't worry you can easily pick yourself up with a second one with this weapon due to how much damage that this weapon outputs. So definitely. The Scoville weapon is definitely one of the weapons that you want to get. It will not be shelf. I will be playing with this a lot. Yeah, you might need to flip to another weapon to take out their shells. When it comes against fleshly targets, this is one of the best pistols in the game right now in Borderlands 3. So, get after it. Make sure you save so you can form for a better version of this weapon. And have some fun while you're doing it playing with the new pistol, the Burning Scoville.
So yeah, that's pretty much going to end it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you really want to help out the channel in the video, because it really does help, you can do so by liking the video if you indeed like the video, and leaving a comment down below. Don't forget, I upload daily videos, so turn on that bell notification and stay up to date for more Borderlands 3 videos. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Happy New Year. Later.